So for Sri Lanka, a marvellous moment. Those other teams over the years have come here and then become forces in international cricket. I've no doubt that eventually Sri Lanka will do the same. David Gow won the toss this morning and no doubt thinking they'd be a little nervous in this debut match in England, decided to put them into bat. Here's the first over now. Jonathan Agnew is bowling and Veta Mooney is taking straight. It's a good shot. So Sri Lanka away, their first runs in Test match cricket in this country. And uh, Wetty Mooney gets them off the mark with two runs. And Wetty Mooney getting in a good position there, right over the top of it. That's a good shot. Short. Got onto it very quickly, cut it away for the first boundary. Port of Eddie Mooney. Fine shot, Tom. Yes, a really fine shot. Got his back foot right across there as soon as he saw it was short. Look at that back foot going across and right down on top of it. Back there for Broad, two runs for the opener. So uh, Wetty Mooney goes into double figures. He's on 10, 19, the score for the loss of silver. He's placed that away nicely. That, as I mentioned before, is a very long boundary. Fowler, every chance of cutting it off as a result. And they should settle for three here. Certainly would have been four on the other side, very comfortably. Botham coming in to continue from the nursery end. Oh. And an absolutely superb stroke there by Madagali. Went with the swing and really just pushed it. Wetty Moody. Beautiful stroke. Mooney on 29. Pretty wide, but got the foot out. Has cracked it for extra cover. Gives him four more. So the 50 up for Sri Lanka. Coming up a good time, only the 19th over. That's a glorious shot, this, a little bit wide and swinging away, but uh, he got right to it with the bat. His foot wasn't right there, but it was reasonably good and really went through it beautifully. A lovely finish there. You can see a tremendous finish here. It really goes through the line, keeps his left arm going there. Beautiful finish. Four runs through the covers. Certainly got some lift and bounce there. So it didn't seem to be all that short either. In fact, it was reasoning into his own half, but uh, certainly a very quick delivery that, and uh, got head high. And I know the West Indies felt that Agnew ball pretty quick down at the Oval in the last Test match, and uh, again showing there that he has a touch of genuine pace. It's a very neat, fine deflection. Bad delivery either. It uh, just came back a shade off the pitch. And, uh, nice reaction piece of bat in there by Vetti Mooney. Got the bat on it as it moved into him quickly. It really was a very wide short ball. Flipped away for four more. Uh, 47 now for Wetty Mooney. Good performance if he could make 50 here before lunch. Took a little bit of a chance at this uh, stage of the game, but it paid off in there and brought in four more. Oh. 
He's gone for his 50. And he's going to get it. Well, that's a sparkling performance from uh, Siddharth Wetty Mooney. It's his fifth 50. And that doesn't include 100 in test matches. It's going good time here, really, off 92 balls, six fours in it. And uh, 51 out of 81, the start of this innings, is really an excellent performance. Well, that was a hard, tough introduction for Sri Lanka. They lost those two early wickets, Silver and Madrigali, for eight and five, respectively, to Botham and Ellison. Dias has battled away there to be ten not out at lunch, with the score at 81 for two, but what a fantastic innings from Vetamuni, 51 not out. A really good effort, that. Very, very strong square of the wicket on the offside. Not quite so strong off his pads, but a thoroughly impressive performance to start with. Fowler. Comes up for Sri Lanka, just brought the fielder. Single to Mooney. And he's made 58 out of those 100 runs. First really risky single they've taken there. Yes, you can watch this. A little bit of hesitation there. Come, go, don't. And no question it would have been out easily if that ball had hit the stumps. The runs are starting to flow now in this uh, after-lunch period. Better Mooney this time. Oh, it's a beautiful shot. Everything right there. Bent the front knee, leant into it, found the gut, raced away. It's four more. shot of the day here very very wide he hit it on top of the bounds absolutely superb that was what you going to keep in the strike now as both approaches that could have been close only pick up there by Gar had to transfer the ball of course just allowed the batsman that extra second. Yes, marvellous piece of fielding by David Gower here. Ran across, picked it in the left hand, changed hands as he was turning and threw it all in one movement. And uh, in actual fact, if he hit the wicket, it would have been very tight indeed. This time, just pitch structurally wide, and he's made few, few mistakes. This boy. No doubt about that. A very good square driver. See that, Wetter Mooney. Lovely wristy strokes. This is a marvellous shot that really raced away to the boundary. Take two there and 
go on to 98. 150 comes up for Sri Lanka and a very good performance too. The loss of three wickets. That's been out Silva for eight, Madagali for five and Dias for 32. There it is. Agnew the fielder and a hundred for Siddharth Wittemuni. A hundred in his first appearance at Lord's. What a marvellous moment for him. He's made those runs out of only 154. This is Jonathan Agnew's 11th over. Four more, beating Pocock down to third man. A bit of extra pace there from Agnew compared with both of them. No ball, ball just before two, took it up to 173 for three. Dice the man out for 32 and Ratatunga, 12 not out. A magnificent knock from Vetamuni, 106 and unbeaten at the tee interval. Really great effort that in his opening test match at Lord's to come up with a century. And it wasn't just the figures in the book, it was the way he played. Tremendous knock and everyone in uh, Sri Lanka can be very proud of him. Here's the first over after the interval now. It's Jonathan Agnew coming in to bowl to better muting. That was a good shot too. the fielder coming in from uh, long leg a slight to worry there for Sri Lanka uh, Centurion might be a bit of cramp he's got but uh, I think Harold just had a look up to see make sure the camera was on him Uh, that famous Barnsley grin. It's doubtful whether Vetti Mooney here will be able to uh, use his feet at all to get to the pitch of uh, these uh, quite high flighted off spinners from Poker. <coughs> and at the moment, content just to lay the dead bat on it. Well, that's a great effort by the Sri Lankans. Just two runs and one over later. Bad light stop play. The total at 226 for three. Vetamuni 116 not out. Siddharth Vetamuni, a tremendous day for him. The day that he'll remember for the rest of his life. He's done some good things in test cricket already, like batting through the innings against New Zealand. But today, an absolute treat to watch. And for him, a very, very memorable moment. There it is. Agnew the fielder and a hundred for Siddharth Wittemuni. A hundred in his first appearance at Lord's. Welcome to the highlights of the second day's play of the England Sri Lanka Test match at Lord's. And what a great day the Sri Lankans had in their debut match here the first day. A tremendous performance from Wittemuni, 116 not out. Ranatunga 54 not out and 226 for three. Just about half an hour lost for bad light yesterday. A great performance that and one they'll look back on with a great deal of pleasure and pride. Well, proceedings got underway on the second morning with Ian Botham taking the first ball of the match. Fetamuni is taking strike. And there's a nice start for Fetamuni. We could have played you one of uh, the shots from yesterday, actually. 
with both of them running up to bowl, the wide half folly and the square drive from Vetamuni. Well, I think he's in a bit of form. Only two slips for uh, Richard Ellison, no gully for Vetamuni. There, I sure I had a dash at that. He certainly did. It went a long, long way. In fact, he needed a long rest to get there. Good partnership up. 216 balls faced. The majority of those runs made by Ranatunga. I think I'd uh, be more inclined with a second new ball to play two slips and two gullies. I'd increase the catching men there by two, take away one of those defensive men on the offside and uh, one on the on. Ellison's bowling big out curves. And Vetamuni is constantly playing square of the wicket just behind point square through point and in front i would reckon you'd have a in fact it uh, looks like he's coming across to add one to that cordon yes and i can't think that they need three saving singles on the offside i think with this new ball they've got to attack I'd leave in the uh, the third man for Vetamuni, play those four catches, which simply means taking away one of those defensive men on the offside. You should be able to uh, cover that with two men to save the single. Yes, this is absolutely right. It's such a such a good wicket that uh, the new ball really is the only chance of making a breakthrough. So I think England really should be attacking that much more. Piece of feeling from Gower. He did put uh, the left hander Ranatunga down just a few moments ago, but a good save there. It's a great stroke. It's been tested by the short pitcher earlier in the over by Agu, and he's played those well, and that was a beautiful stroke. Yes, again in the usual area, where it's off the front foot or the back, back foot, it's usually round about that point area. He got nicely on top of it and really cracked it away. And beautiful sideways position again, isn't it? And still no joy for England there. The score, 271 for three at lunch. Better Mooney, 137 and Ranatunga, 74. And that is a tremendous partnership. They really played well. Again, as yesterday, some glorious strokes all around the wicket. Vetamuni concentrating on that area, square of the wicket on the offside. We pick up play now in the second over after lunch. Three runs have been added. Paul Allard is the bowler and Vetamuni is taking strike. They're very straight, both these boys. Again, uh, Vetamuni getting right in line there. Technically, they are extremely good players. Head right behind the line of the ball there. Very, very straight pick up and follow through. Now that one dropped short enough for him to play another very good shot. Forced off the back foot. As soon as the bowlers have erred a little in length and direction, they've been uh, quick to put it away. Yes, there is no room for error on a wicket like this. Four more. That's the launch. 
Doesn't uh, by any means a hard folly once again. Way through that gap between point and gully. 150 for Vedamuni. Well done. Vedamuni has strike. How close can we get to the tactics uh, here, Ray? Do you think uh, both of them might be about to bounce out Mendes? Well, I don't know about, about to bounce him out. I think he might be certainly going to try. <laughs> it could be quite interesting, this I would imagine, if he has a go. It's, the ball's got a little bit older. It's a very nice, easy pace wicket, so the hook shot's certainly on. One hundred and fifty four to Vetamuni, and that is a real milestone in the history of cricket. It's the highest score made by a batsman in his country's first test match in England. And that's it. Beautiful shot off the bat foot by Sid Vetamuni. Takes him on to his uh, best score in test match cricket. 60 not out. And he's low up that one for four now. Vetti Moon is turned to come into the action. And this was a tremendous uh, shot here. Wide and really cracked away on the up. And that's four more. Oh, Pitch launched into it. Not quite a half volley either that time. What a great moment for Sri Lanka that they should pass the 400 mark for only four wickets. Trouble here. Tavare, the man out at mid on. And he needed a decent throw, and the partnership was broken. 434 for four when bad lights stopped play towards uh, seven o'clock on the second day. Sri Lanka advanced, in fact, to their highest ever score in Test match cricket, and of course the two not outs were Vetti Mooney and the captain uh, Julie Mendes. Vetti Mooney lasted about uh, half an hour plus this morning, and then he was picked up by Allard, who bowled well in harness with Pat Pocock. Yes, in fact, uh, he got quite a little bit of bounce there, and uh, that was a good delivery. In fact, Paul Allard and uh, Pat Pocock, in fact, bowled very well that first hour because Sri Lanka were wanting to get on top wanted to dominate, and yet Mendes could only make about 10 runs in an hour, and uh, really these two did a very, very good job. And if England had bowled as well as this throughout the innings, you don't really see Sri Lanka making 491 for seven. The highest ever score made in a first test in this country against England. The highest for Sri Lanka in tests, an innings he'll never forget. And what a reception he got from one and all. 100 and 90. You can see it from the nursery end and good line, just that little bit of bounce. He tried to hit it through his favourite area where he's got hundreds of runs uh, in this innings and it just got that little bit big on him, a slight outside top edge and Paul Downton did the rest. <laughs>